All right, guys. So this finally came in the mail today. Um, yeah, I'm making this video at like I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock at night because I'm just so excited to have this package. This is my first time to order something off of Kickstar, and this is the Hoshinchu Air Bonsai Garden. I ordered this, I don't know, back in, I don't even remember, like April, June, something like that. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. And this is gonna actually be my first unboxing video. So let's just dig right into this. It is definitely not gonna be a smooth video because I have never, ever unboxed anything before. Wow, this is exciting. So they've kept us pretty much up to date on everything and already, already the packaging and everything is just, just beautiful. And there it is. The air bonsai. See if I can get a little more focus in there. Maybe get the scissors off the table. Make it look a little nicer. Alright. So yeah. This is just unbelievably, unbelievably exciting. So there it is. Air Bonsai by Hoshinchu. It's just taped at the edges here. The take off tape. And here we go. I'm gonna go into detail about everything later. It's got a little manual in here. Instruction and user manual. Which opens up like this. Again, I'll go over everything in detail later. This is just the unboxing. The mat. And here everything is. They wrapped everything with their own little newspaper, which is pretty nifty. All right, so in the big compartment here, oh, that's got some weight to it. That is, that is absolutely, that, that's heavy. And there it is. Let's see, we can center that. It is going to be the base itself. And there's nothing else in that section, so we'll get into the small compartment here. And there we go. That's what it looks like inside. So, in the small, balance your little star lava. All right, so it's got the little star lava in there. Guessing that is a plate. And what do we got here? I'm guessing probably the charger, the plug, if you will. Yep. And we have the plug section here and here's what I'm gonna guess is the moss the little moss ball or kokedama as they say in Japanese actually while I was waiting for this I got really into making my own kokedama um, and started designing and making a few so this is the one I'm going to test out today going to be the kokedama here it is and I'm just basically making a huge mess here behind it there it is there is the kokedama itself I'm gonna bring it a little closer focus in so we can take a look at it there it is back to everything else all right so with everything a huge mess on the table. I finally get to unwrap this. Oh, 
Well, that's beautiful. It's got a nice reflective surface to it. It's got its own plug coming right out of the base. So I've plugged this in now. Absolute silence. Nothing at all. Ooh. Wow! Did not expect that. It just sticks right to the base if you're not careful. Alright, so let's try and center this. Okay. And there it is! She floats! And there it is. She floats beautifully. It's got a nice spin to it too. So yeah, that's all I'm going to do for tonight. And uh, I will do a more in-depth uh, setup and review later on. But for now, there it is. Air Bonsai. Alright guys, uh, yeah, so I did not get to finish my unboxing the other day. It was kind of a late night unboxing. And there's still a little bit more that I haven't opened, so I wanted to share that with you guys. You can see the, the reflection of one of my friend's paintings that I have up on the wall right there. In the, uh, in the base. So, yeah. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start by taking the, uh, the moss, the little star here and try adjusting it on the base. This is proven to be way more difficult than they make it look in the, the, the videos for it. It's actually a pretty big challenge. So, you, you definitely need both hands for this. And if you mess it up, it just bounces right down onto the base. There we go. The other thing is, it tends to typically spin a lot faster than I originally thought, but the review will come later. The review will come later. For now, uh, we are going to get into the rest of the box here. Yeah, let's see if I can just make sure everything's in focus. There we go. So yeah, it starts to pick up some speed there with the spin. So we'll take the top off the box. Yeah, they've got their whole Shinchu thing here with a little thank you note there. And already got over the contents. It talks about the instructor and user, the instruction and user manual. The Furoshiki, everything was wrapped inside of. And these are the only two right here that I have not unpacked. Um, and I, I kind of want to unpack them. So I'm going to set the box and everything back here. There we are. Leave that there. There we go. Okay. There. Looks all nice and pretty. Okay. So, uh, this will be the lava base. So that will be the last one that I unpack. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure we got a little a little plate here. Let me just get some of the tape off of this. Look at that. And there it is. So, let me get a little closer, get it in focus here. So yeah, I'm gonna place that right there for now. Let me this back in focus. There we go. So it's got a pretty good spin to it. Um, I had this little Totoro that I kind of balanced on the edge that I do, so I'll leave him there for now. And the last one is going to be the lava base. Now, in preparation for the lava base, I, I went out and I picked up a little plant, nothing special, it's, it's not even a bonsai, it's just something to, to 
toss in there for now. Something with uh, a little color. And it is just wrapped in warnings. So we'll get this one here open. I accidentally ripped the page. And here is the lava base itself. Once again, we'll focus into that. It's really nicely crafted. One of the warnings is that you may have to uh, do some sanding. It comes with some sandpaper, so you may have to do some sanding to, to reshape it uh, just to get the balance right. Um, it's not overly heavy, but it does have some weight to it. My big concern is that if you're not careful when you put it on the base, it'll slam right down. It's just the magnets are very, very strong. Um, so I'm going to see if I can start by just getting this floating and then maybe we'll transplant the plant into it. Take off the kokedama and unnervingly place this on here. This has got me really nervous because this will scratch the base. If I... Ah, oh, there it is. And that's what happens. That's what happens. You see just the lava dust everywhere so you gotta be really careful when you're placing this there we go we got it floating I'm gonna take the camera off for a second and actually get in so we can get a closer look it doesn't float as high as the little moss ball so there it is the spin on it's a lot less aggressive than it is with the moss ball. It's really slow and gentle. It's probably a little differently balanced than the moss ball is. And I gotta clean up the table over here now. Luckily it didn't seem to scratch it. I'll double check it later. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to transplant this plant into the lava base and see it float with a plant. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try and transplant this into here. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't exactly have a green thumb, so this isn't going to be the neatest process. Uh, I do, I actually like making kokedama, these moss balls. Uh, I made a little koke cube, which has since turned orange. Definitely, it holds the weight. Here we go. I think once it gets spinning, it'll probably fall. But, uh, yeah, that, that really loves to pick up the speed. So, yeah, here we go. We're gonna try and plant this little bird. Obviously, you're gonna have to clean up the table later. Yeah, see, just as I expected. She got some speed to her and dropped the cube. I like to see how, once this is planted, how it affects the, the rate of the spin. Because the lava base itself had a much slower, gentler spin as we saw. So, here we go again. I'm going to now. Now that I've taken this off, I'm gonna actually show this. It turned out quite nice. It was simple. It's an easy transplant. And once I've spent some time with it, I'm gonna actually transplant something a little more bonsai-esque into this. Uh, it's just I have, I actually have a pretty bad history with killing bonsai trees. So I didn't want to jump right into that at the moment. It doesn't help that I live in a high rise and yeah. We, you know, even if you put it outside, you just get a lot of wind. So, all right. So 
So I'm going to take off our happy spinning moss ball there. The magnets on this are really, really quite strong. Like these aren't, these aren't even close to each other. I don't know if you can see this, but me putting this down is moving the lava one. Put those at a fair distance. And once again, the nerve-wracking moment of trying to balance this. So, ah, yeah, we do have a bit of a scratch there, just as I thought. There it's slamming down, so. Let's give it a shot one more time. This one is much heavier. So you've got to actually balance it a lot closer to the base. So it's much, much more nerve-wracking. And there it is. It uh, looks nice. So again, let's, uh, let's get a little closer up. And there it is, planted. all the mess in the background. You know what? I think Totoro would like to hang out in there. Let's try and put him in. And there he is. So that is my unboxing of the Shinju Air Bonsai Garden. Got here to Tokyo pretty quick. It's really exciting. I'm gonna be doing a full review after I've had a little more time with it. Um, there have been a few points that have stood out to me, a few points that have been a little surprising to me in like the last day or two of using it. So once I have decided everything, I will do a more in-depth review and post it up here for you guys. For now, if you guys could jump down into the comment section, uh, if you have any questions, post them down there. That way, hopefully, I can put them together in my next video. And otherwise, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your comments. This has been so exciting, just waiting for this and getting everything set up. And it's been a lot of fun making the video. So, thank you all, and we will see you guys soon.